Rick! I tried. Back. Finally, Rick Grimes, baby! Rick. Where has he been and what has he been doing? Yeah, what the fuck is he like? Is he like, like contemplating killing himself? Oh, damn. They're still out there, Rick. Come on. Yo, the fact that he's still alive is crazy. That's Rick right there? Yeah, what the fuck? Like a firefighter. Oh, you think they got him because he could fight? Soldier. Soldier? So on your resume, you say you have 10 years of killing zombies? Oh, yeah, wait, he's right. like, oh, he's a prisoner? Yeah, yeah he's like, like chained up, though. Wait, he's what not... kind of walkers is that? They're on fire. Bro, that's why I say he's a firefighter, but you feel me? You know what's crazy? Like, some of the uh, recaps I was watching, they did say that, like, there are some, like, evolved walkers. It seems like he is a prisoner. He is a prisoner. You only have a certain proximity you can go out. Wait, was he about to cut his arm off? And dip? No. So my no. boy Rick is wildin'. See, old Rick would have, though. Oh! oh it! There's still some of the old Rick could have lost! I ain't doing that, bro. And I don't know if oh, I can't get, if I don't think I can get away, I'm not doing it, bro. No way, bro. Oh, oh my gosh, he should be dead. How the hell he should be dead. The so base of the fire that's on the walk bro, to cauterize my wounds. Blood is yeah, going. Right? There's mad walkers out there. Why am I doing that, bro? Like, nah, I won't front, bro. He got to cauterize it. Yeah, I'm I like, told bro, you. He's going to die if he doesn't. I told you, bro. What I tell y'all? No way you're taking that pain, bro. Bro, he had a pipe in his stomach, my guy, and he pulled it out. Yeah. Why we had to see him cut his hand? I low key, he didn't do that. Bro. And then he still got bagged and tamed. No way. I mean, this shit a dream every day, bro. Do you mind if I just? Are you where you want to be? Yeah. Looks to you. I always thought I would wait to tell you everything when we were finally back together. Mm. Not everything. That's the iPhone she found. But all of it, it was always about getting back to you. The people they rescue, they work in the outskirts, killing walkers for energy, for growing food, for managing the water, for waste. I was called Kasai. I was one of them, but I was never going to go in. This is like zombies in Call of Duty. <laughs> Through the window and shit. <laughs> this is crazy. That is small oper a small operation, though. He sound like Denzel. <laughs> he sound like Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your forehead? Someone like you happened. I'm going back to work. He's like, fuck this job. He really kept the same mannerism. He's still Rick, bro. I thought he is. Yeah, he's still Rick. He didn't know what to do with me. Because no one tried to escape. No well, he tried more than once. I kept trying to get away. So they put me on a leash when we went out into the world. That's why. So, okay. So not everybody's on a leash. They just put Rick on a leash. They clearly don't want nobody knowing about mm -hmm. this place. That's Rick for you. Blood on the face. Blood on the face. Freaking Rick! Rick would always have those those scenes where he just goes crazy on walkers. He wanted me to join his program. There's no escape for the living. I left the uniform in your apartment. It's time to accept things for what they are. I will find you, Sean. Yeah, they didn't give him a fake hand or something. Me, I can't get away. Thanks for making sure, man. I ain't have to cut my hands off. <laughs> yeah. I just watch you fuck up. Right? It's like, uh, <laughs> if you lost your hand, you back here, I definitely can't make yeah. it out of motherfucker. I'm going to just keep yeah. getting drunk, man. <laughs> can I touch it? Hey, hey yo. yo. Man, man. Gouts, man. Gouts, man. Air man. Air nah, air conditioning is crazy. You Shit. 
But how are they gonna trust him to do that? There oh, you go, Rob. Gave him a higher. That fist. nigga always got a fist, yo. <laughs> No matter what, nigga, he's cracking somebody, bro. Bro, when you stay ready, you ain't right. got to get ready. Is this the end of it? In the store or something again? It's the end. Bro, they got Rick. Oh! Oh, nah, they turned Rick's character up, bro. This nigga, what? <laughs> yes, but so will you can help me change things from the inside. Possessed. Is this a coup d'etat? I believe the CRM and me to become what it needs to be. The CRM designates people they find as A's and B's. A's have a strength. A's will die for what they believe in. Mm. The people we cross in the world, the few we bring in, they're classified as B. And everyday people who are just trying to survive. Yo, what's good, man? You are now back on TTV, baby. Gang, 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 gang. And if it's your first time here, it definitely will be your last. We shoot kill, murder, and smash. smash that subscribe button, man. And welcome to RTTV, where we react to everything. Everything. And today is a special day, man. This is for my OGs. OG. People that have been on RTTV since the jump ski. It's one of our like first shows that we really did like. Back, 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 back in the day. I think this is our second live action show that we shot. I believe yeah, it was our second was. live action right show. After Game of <laughs> right after Game of Thrones, and then we had like this Vikings and Breaking Bad, like in yeah, that yeah. general area. But man, we got the what's what can be one of the biggest things of this show, uh, the relationship of Rick and Michonne. Mm -hmm. We were kind of left with a uh, wanting more in this situation. Rick all of a sudden uh, gets impaled. Um, I can't remember what season was, but Rick gets impaled, nine. blows up season, season nine. nine. Then he blows up the entire. Five. Wow, my boy Rob, my boy Rob <laughs> said, "Yo, you know the time stamp." <laughs> Thirty, 30 minutes, minutes and twenty-eight, 28 mark. seconds. <laughs> but man, we get to see that uh, he ends up looking like he died. He doesn't end up dying. Michonne. Um, fast forward years later, finds an uh, I think believe it was a phone with a message from Rick, and it was like. Don't stop believing, mm. or something in that general uh, general region. And now we're gonna get to see what happened when Michonne left her children and said, "I'm gonna go find your daddy." The OGs, man, one of the best uh, couples. Well, yeah, right, yo. I said that earlier. I'm like, yo, that's really bugging, bro. Me texting my kid like, "I'm gonna go find your dad. I'll see you when I see you." You heard? They gonna take care of you over there. We'll figure it out. But uh, man, I can't wait. I hope we get some closure in this uh, this series here. I believe it's only six episodes. And uh, now we're going to be introduced to the CRC, which we haven't really seen too much of. Yeah. Well, with all of the spinoffs, um, I guess they've introduced this group, over 200,000 people worldwide. And they are who seems to have Rick. But without no further ado, man, let's find out what happens in the end of the story of Rick and Michonne, the greatest characters in the whole entire series, man. Make sure you head over to our Patreon right now if you want to watch the full reaction to this episode with us. Give this video a like. Make sure you comment for the algorithm. And get it to a thousand. Yo, like go a thousand. Make sure y'all get this video to a thousand nice. if you want to see episode two with us of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. Oh, wow. Me. Because it's categorized bees. Needs to change. Being the monster to fight the monsters that can't last. So he has good intentions. The issue I'm briefing? That's me. Uh, all the info, the whys, the things. 90% of our force doesn't know about it. 100% mm -hmm. of our city doesn't. If I'm an A, if I think for myself, why do you even think I'm going to go along with all of this? Because I believe if either one of you had a chance to save the world, you would. Mm. That is true. No, I don't give a shit about your feelings. Like, you are what you feel should have happened to us. This is all I have left. This is all you have left, too. The person you are trying to get back to is not gone. <laughs> Don't Fuck say it. Rick. I don't want to hear it. She isn't. They aren't. We are. Mm. And they don't want you to die. Life surrounded by death. All in one of you. Colonel? Isn't that right? That is so Major General Beale. I saw what Federal Forces did to Atlanta. They used napalm, sir. But this force 
and the Pennsylvania National Guard at the time. We stopped him. How, sir? In Okafor. Okafor, sir. He was with their Air Force. He was supposed to bomb the city, but instead, he bombed 4,000 Marines staging at Lincoln's mm -hmm. Damn. And that's wow. the dude who he's fucking with, right? He switched sides. Yeah. You and Thorne never would have been allowed into the CRM. You wouldn't even have been let into consignment. But Okafor made a compelling argument. Is Okafor up to anything I should know about? Oh, shit. Mm. No. <laughs> He's like, of course you're not going to tell me. Why are you here? Do you want to kill? To die? Or is all this just another attempt to escape? Mm. <coughs> That's a great question. There's a reckoning coming. And it's coming soon. Yeah. You joined the CRN. <laughs> I need you to tell me where it goes. Dude, I am senior level water. <laughs> <laughs> senior level. I can't tell you shit, all right? This tunnel will take you due east to a junction about a mile out. He's a real one. It's going to be a padlock right there. But I 100% wouldn't tell you that the code to open is 4399. Oh, that's a good dude. That's a real yeah, nigga. That's a real good dude. Yeah, I hope this dude don't get smoked out for this. Fucking die, okay? Nah, that's the homie. A resource run to an abandoned chemical plant. Mm. I got a walker body. Cut off its hand. Left it with my dog tags. Yeah, very oh. nice. The corpse was burned. There's no escape for the living. So I had to make sure no, you they didn't. thought I was dead. Yep. They smartened up with that technology. Yeah, dude. right? What the hell? We miss Herschel. Back up. Wait, again, why was she walking behind a walker? Is she a whisperer? Did you hear that? Somebody is helping him. Oh. Is that the girl? Mm -hmm. I'll be a hot. Yeah. Dude, I'll be what happened. Ask for help. I'm asking. He would have found you. And whether you're an idiot. He knows about you, Dennis. Okay, so he wasn't going to make it out the way she's saying it then. Yeah. He was about to dip in and that girl right there just popped up and shit like that because I guess like she was like um, stranded and shit like that. because she Yeah, she was just scared. <laughs> Wait, is he about to kill someone? That's homie, man, Dunzo. I think I was dead all the time. Her name, back of the note, your message in a bottle from escape number three, which I order. Was your daughter, right? Mm. <laughs> you know, maybe I shouldn't have told Thorne I know things about you, but she tells me things. <laughs> My dick and dad's all going on. They were sitting to find me. I'm the one who'd have to kill you and Lashawn and anyone else you ran to out there just knowing about this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to choose from the world. You don't get to choose from me. You live for those people in that city because you got nothing else for you to do, do you? Percentages and yield days are fucking big. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Come on, wow. Rick. Oh, he oh could have fucked him up god. a long time ago. Everything. Now, a Marine named Estelle, that was my wife. And I had power, and I had a choice. And I killed my wife. Wow. Now, you got to think that. He, he blew this up all those crazy. places, I believe it. And we saved hundreds of thousands, maybe the whole world, with our choice. Bro, Rick really no. like my G. I'm gonna keep doing it until you kill me. Let's deal with you. You now convert a college and the Cascades to a forward operating base over the next 12 months. Nah, this shit's starting off kind of fire, though. Yeah. I, like, I, like, I, like, yeah. I like the concept. I like the concept, yeah. yo. Real shit. Yeah. I like the, I like the black Rick, dude. Nigga. And, and I really like the black dude, yeah. too, nigga. Real it's shit. It's Rick, though. Rick was never, when Rick was on The Walking Dead, it was never out. Yeah.
Oh, damn. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh that's why. Okay, that explains why. See, it makes sense, yeah. The people she knew. They sold themselves up to her to get to her. She wound up covered in their blood and their organs. Jeez. You need an echo. You don't want to be somewhere else with someone else? Mm-hmm, that's true. Yeah, I'll just be here though. I'm like, yeah, you didn't even know for sure, for sure I was going to get caught, yo. You should let me just done what I did. <laughs> nah, she knew because Okafor had all the information yeah. on Michonne. That's why he just oh, yeah, spazzed on her. Yeah. No good man to try and save the world. Okay, you want to know what I'm saying? Okay. 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 It's an interesting thing, though. Say, nigga, you try to go save, you try to go find your family, but you want to save the world, my man? Like, you're a good dude. Like, you could help save the world, but... Yeah, like you're you're making it very much about you, and I'm telling you that, like, yo, that shit can't work. I thought about ending it, just stopping it all, but then, then it would just be nothing. This is my last one, the last letter I write to you that you'll never see. Wow. I love you. Oh, that beast! Did they really? Yeah. He's really going through the whole process of um, opening up that location. Oh wow! Man, that's a clean. Save the world, even if you don't know I ever did that. Mmm, Umar approved. It is. That's funny. I thank you. I believe in you. I guess what he's been doing over the last five years, almost destroying his dream. Mm. I've been thinking about this night when I was a kid. The crops were burning. Damn. Yeah, that's a, that's literally what Rick's planning on doing. He's gonna burn his life to hell basically so he can have like a better life after. So we gotta watch his life go to shit completely. When you get to that point, swear on a sword. Another take. You know. Oh. Wait, what the hell? Fuck? Oh wait, he got hit! Ah, I like Denzel! Oh, they yeah, they're under attack. Somebody's attacking them. There's a one hand. Nah, this walking dead is on steroids. Nah, they went crazy on that attack. Sheesh. Like, who's attacking them? Like, look at they got gun guns, bro. Looking like Call of Duty. Son, what is going on? Yeah, There's some good tech, bro. You can hear it, like, it's like as if it's honing in on them. Oh, you see them? Imagine oh, they all have blades. Imagine these are Michonne's new people. It's Michonne. That's he dreads. Oh my that's god! Is that freaking oh! That's Michonne. That's Michonne. What? That's the insane. Hell? I didn't think the I didn't think it was gonna be that quick. I just die. They just right? <laughs> wow. Bro, Thanks for this that. series is lit, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was top. 10 top 5 Walking Dead episodes. That was my favorite Walking Dead episode of all time. <laughs> Damn. 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 Yo, I'm not the Negan episode, Damn. my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That was my favorite uh, Walking Dead episode of all time. Chill, chill, nah, chill. I'm not chilling. That I'm was not. great, though. <laughs> it was a dope episode, yo. I feel like um we got a lot, man. And I feel at, at the end of this episode, I kind of felt bad for Like, I'm happy he's back with Michonne, but like, Bro, he had just come to terms with like. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like it bro. took him this entire episode to like, bro. I try to escape four times. I told y'all a hundred times. I'm gonna keep it trying to escape till y'all kill my butt. Until y'all kill my ass. I cut my hand off. I come to this conclusion. We get this whole monologue of like, yo, I'm gonna stop sending letters. Like, at this point, yo, I gotta save the people I can save, which are these people that are here, and hopefully make this new world where even if I don't see y'all, my family, 
Like, I created this world even if you don't know I created it. You can bust another nut and just start another thing. This kid's wild. But I'm not going to do... I mean, if I... I I don't think it would be that easy if I had a family. But I feel like he finally got it. I think that's what he was thinking, though. Like, let's create me a world and maybe I could start another family. I don't know. I don't know if it was about that. I think he was more like, yo, if my family is alive out there... How can I ensure their survival? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Even if they don't know it was me. Yeah, exactly. I can help save the world because what Okafor was he, what Okafor's character was he was making all the hard decisions yes. to ensure a better world, yeah. however he saw fit. And somebody needed to have that kind of vision, right? Mm-hmm. He killed his freaking wife because he opposed his uh, opinion on bombing the city. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like he knew if he uh, had bombed, I guess the the military, the Marines. And the rest of the city could survive, unlike what they did in Atlanta, where yep. they used the napalm to kill uh, most of the city. So I think like Rick was had to face that decision, like, yo, I gotta embody this. I can't go out there either because Okafor knows about my show, knows about my family. So if I go out there, they have to ensure that nobody finds out about this, so they'll kill yep. me, and they'll probably go to try to kill Michonne in case I made contact with her. Exactly. I don't want to live with that, so let me at least do what I can here and, and try to create this new world. And I thought that was a I thought that was a great twist on on Rick, and now especially seeing that Michonne um, is the one that attacked them, it almost makes you feel like okay, they're gonna be on opposing sides. So like mm-hmm. Romeo and Juliet, hot sex. <laughs> that wasn't sure. my exact. <laughs> <don't>... <laughs> hot sex, the ad was crazy too, nigga. Whoa, I think Whoa. you know what's crazy. I don't even think they're gonna. I think they could be on opposing sides, but at the same time. They're still gonna work together, and I think Rick is gonna go missing in this period of time because they got attacked, and he's gonna be with Michonne. And the what is what are they called? The CBM, CBI, CRM, CRM, the CRM, yeah, Civic <laughs> Republic Military, yeah, the CRM, the CRM is gonna definitely be looking for Rick and looking for Black Dude. They gonna realize that he's he died, but that's gonna cause a war between them. But my question is, what did the CRM do to prompt an attack? by Michonne and her people because I don't think that was just that wasn't I don't think that was just one person that did that. I'm pretty sure Michonne has people that are oh, taking sure. on the CRM too. So what did the CRM do to prompt that attack? And who's to say that Michonne's people weren't behind Omaha? Like well, that's I'm, what I wanted. I'm under the impression that I can't I can't remember exactly somebody in the comments I'm sure correct me, but um I'm pretty sure they knew that Rick had gone away in a helicopter, right? Because they did just shoot down a helicopter. So maybe it was on some, like, if I need to find Rick, this is what I got to do. I just Hell no, nah, nigga. Like, I don't think Michelle was like, helicopter. I think it's more than that. Like, I feel like they've been <laughs> showing more helicopters more. for a while. Um, Like, they talked about how, like, they've been throughout all the seasons, like, they've had kind of signs of helicopters. So that's just my thought. Like, maybe she just was under the impression that whoever's in these helicopters, we got to find out what they're doing. Maybe not necessarily Rick's in the helicopter, but, like, Yo, whoever's in these helicopters, they clearly got more than I do. What's going on? Then why shoot them down? Yeah, like, I think I don't it's think that would be that. pointless. That would be pointless if, think, like, yeah. I'm trying to find out what they're doing, so I'm just gonna kill them. Yeah, that I think doesn't. Because yeah. they even hinted in this episode that, like, this dude's telling Rick that, like, yo, the deeper that you get within the ranks, the more we'll tell you about, like, what CRM is. The CR- actually, is happening. Yeah, CRM, right? Yeah. What, yeah, what they actually doing? Because I guess, like, there's something that they're doing that allows the town in, this, uh, in these locations to thrive and stuff. So I think that's that's probably goes into maybe why she attacked or whatever, and it would lead into what happened with Omar. I just know that so long so far this storyline's lit. I fuck with heavy. I fuck with the the psychological like trips that we went with with, with Rick though. That shit was dope as hell. And the fact that he like you said he came to terms to what he, what he was what he was gonna have to do, especially giving us that whole like story about his father, just for it to be rock. By having the girl, having your shorty pull up right in front of you. And mm-hmm. kill the dude that he was just with. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, bro, your whole world's flipped up, upside down. She almost yeah. killed him. Yeah. She made I, him crash. Romeo and Juliet, hot sex. Yeah. Hot sex. That's yeah. the song. But, uh, <laughs> that is a song. Yeah, um, I love this uh, episode. Definitely top. Shout out to Rick uh, and Michonne. They definitely did their thing. I like the build up. And um, like I said, uh, uh, Rick is walking dead, and it's good to have him back. I think it was a perfect timing for Rick to introduce more of the world, like, oh, it's more tech. Because prior to this, man, walking dead to me, the problem with it was it was so not, te- like, it was, like, it was not primitive. Yeah, it was yeah, very primitive, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm not going to go watch Beyond the Walking Dead and all these damn spinoffs either, so. Yeah, I love, uh, I love that uh, Rick 
at one point is not okay with, even though this world seems like a pretty lit world for the people that are in it. He's like, nah, I still got to go find my real home, like my people, my family. And um, it's going to be a lit season, man. I feel like we got a lot, but there's still so much that we haven't, like we haven't seen Jadis yet. We haven't seen nothing that's going on with Michonne. I feel like we just went through like, I don't know how many years we just went through in this show, but I feel like it's a decent amount of time because we fixed the entire, uh, like, yeah, station that like he was trying to yeah. station. We yeah. had, like, him from the beginning, so I feel like we went through a lot of time um, and a lot of trauma for Rick. And I, I do think they will play on, like, Okafor and his wife's relationship with Rick and Michonne because I think at the end of the day, Okafor and Rick are very similar, and that's what drew Okafor to Rick. Like, yo, you gonna make the tough decision, bro. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you're a good fucking guy. Like, if I, there's one thing I know, you're a good fucking guy, you're a leader, and people will follow you. So, if you can buy, your, buy into what we're trying to sell, or you could buy into the idea that, like, man, fuck the CRM, fuck, fuck everybody. You, I trust you. Like, with the decisions you make with your heart, I trust that shit. So when, and I know that when you make a decision, you're gonna ride. So at the end of the day, bro, you're gonna be that guy, but now you're gonna meet Michonne and help. What happens if Michonne is... Nah, fuck the CRM. Yeah, we ain't right. doing that. Yeah. All right, so what's your thing? This is what I'm going to do. Not even just the CRM. I think it's more like the A and B uh, stereotypes that they were talking yeah. to. Like, there's some people that are leaders, right, that need to lead this world into the next generation. Mm-hmm. And there's people that are just... Workers. Okay, yeah, workers are okay with just living the way they are, right? Mm-hmm. I think Michonne, if she's a part of the opposing side, mm-hmm. or maybe a part of the people that were attacked in Omaha or whatever... And she's like, fuck the CRM. And um, one one of the videos we watched before watching this, they said that the helicopters are a clear sign that it was a CRM. So maybe they were knocking them down because if CRM had anything to do with mm-hmm. Omaha because of their way of thinking or whatever, mm-hmm. yeah. then uh, I believe Michelle, Michelle is going to be with them. And I, I agree with you. I think that Rick will be in conflict with his wife like uh, Okafor was with his wife. Yeah. He'd have to make that decision. To kill her or not. Maybe kind of or maybe they they can spin it in a way spin in a way where like they, there can be some kind of like middle ground yeah middle yeah. ground but um instead of just a rational way of just it has to be one way. Mm-hmm. Well, a great first episode. Make sure y'all like this up. Leave a comment. Get this to a thousand likes. We can go on to episode two with y'all. I go by the name of DC. It's your boy Al Tay. It's a maniac. Walks on the squad too. Patrick Al Tay. It's your boy Wells. And if you haven't, if this is your first time here, if you haven't been here for a while, make sure you click that link in the bio to head over to our Patreon. We have full and uncut reactions. We have a lot of movies, uh, over 100 plus. Plus, we have shows for everybody. So make sure you click that link. Go check it out right now. You can become a free member. If you want to upgrade, get some dope content with RTTV, you can do that right now. Click the link in the bio. And that settles it at the, the Roundtable. Table. The fucking bag. That shit is fire, bro.